Okay, Ron B. is admitting that he's having trouble figuring out why the workspace switcher on Mint is not really working very well. Yes, in Mate, you have to go through the arduous task of right-clicking and adding it. Well, sure, it's not that hard to do once you know it's doable. And right here, it's just typical troll doing his typical troll thing. He, he can't understand why task switching in Mint Mate isn't done well. He just It's just beyond his capability to understand. He can't understand why this is a problem. So I'm making this video simply to show him. Here we are in Linux Mint 17.2, which is the current newest. I'm using Mate. And let's open up a couple of items. I'm going to go ahead and open this up right here. There's no task switcher, mind you. No task switcher at all. And let's just think about this from a regular user perspective. They probably have never used any type of task switcher, any type of uh, workspace switcher. So maybe they go to right click on this and they want to close it. And they see move to workspace right. Well, you know, people should be encouraged to play around, see what's going on. This is a general setting, not something buried. So they click on it and now it's gone. Well, that's a little bit odd. So they open up something else. And yeah, here it is. It opens and they make some change here. Okay, fine. And then they do the same thing. And they say, you know, move to workspace right. Okay, well, move to workspace right makes it disappear to some place. You and I, people in Cola, we know it's moving to another workspace. But what workspace? You can't get to it. There's no switcher by default. So, okay, maybe I'll open up this again. Okay, fine. And open this again. And notice they're showing down here and that's fine that's great as I open things they show and now I want to go back to that same document so I'll double click on it and it's now opening but now it has two items it says untitled one that's my document and opening untitled one it's showing it twice and it's taking forever here I mean this is just we'll wait and we'll wait okay now finally it it finishes but it's not there I could, I could switch between these two windows easily but when I switch to this window, look what happens. Switch to it. Now I have three of these, and they're minimized. I never minimized these. They're just minimized. And this is now here. Now let's see. I figure out how to get back to Workspace 1. I can go ahead, add to panel, and I have to go through. And there's a lot of these items here. And I go and I find the Workspace switcher, and I add it, and I close this. And now yeah, maybe I want to move it. I'll right click and say move. If I move it here, look what happens. These get squished. Squish, 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 squish. Go. Oh, I was able to move it to the other side, but eh, they just, just sort of disappear. They get squished and are gone. In my testing before, they completely disappeared. Uh, I was testing this and maybe I had this locked. Yeah, I had this locked to the panel, I'll bet you. I don't know. It crashed and so I had to restart it. And so that's probably causing it. If it's locked, there we go. It was locked. So you have to know to, if you want it on the other side, to unlock this, drag this over, go back here, hit move, bring that over, or just stick it over on the right-hand side. That's what I'll do, and then I'll move this back. Most users would just, at this point, be completely baffled. Let's face it, this is not going to work for most people. Oh, finalize that. And then if I go ahead and I move this to another workspace, and now it's saying move workspace left, we know, because we have the workspace switcher, and we're knowledgeable computer people what's going on most users would have no idea maybe i'll say move workspace right it's gone even if i figure out to move to the first workspace now i have these two items open when i open this it says it's opening well it's not really opening it again it does it's not even giving us a second instance of it opening it's really just opening here it's already open this isn't working correctly and it's working differently than it was here and it hasn't moved us over to the workspace that it's in, but it's listed on this workspace. So I'm on, let's note this, I'm on workspace one, and it's listed here. I move to workspace three, and it's listed there, but I move back to workspace one, and it's no longer listed. Until I double click on it, which gets it to list along with this other item, which when I click on it does nothing, but if I click on this item, it will move me to workspace three, but if I don't have the workspace switcher open, there's no indication of that, of course. So now I have multiple workspaces, which are going to be confusing to users, and items that work with the workspace differently. Work with the workspace and with our tasks down here. 
So this is not working consistently. This is not working in a way that the average user is ever going to figure it out. You have to know to come here and have this open. Even when you don't, it has four workspaces set up by default, even without a workspace switcher. That does not make sense, Ron. You need to understand, well, you don't need to understand it. You could remain ignorant. But when you say that you don't understand the issue here, and you all but brag that you don't understand the issue here, you're just, <laughs> just showing off your ignorance. You're not showing knowledge about computers and how computers are used. That's a key thing for you to understand, that the issue is not with people being idiots and not being able to figure out how to get this workspace switcher here. The issue is with the workspace not showing, the switcher not showing, but you already have four workspaces and different programs working with it in different ways in a way that the average user would have absolutely no clue. That's the issue. Got it? Probably not. But anyway, made this video to help you.